Hello, my name is Nicholas Lair and I am an LC product specialist at Shimadzu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will show how to perform lens and gasket replacements as part of the preventative maintenance routine for the SPD M40 photodiode array detector and the SPD 40 UV vis detector. For this procedure, you will need a flathead screwdriver, plastic tweezers, a syringe that has a needle with a nut and ferrule, two propanol, and replacement lenses and gaskets. Make sure that you have the correct consumables for your specific flow cell type. Please note that there are two gaskets that come with the applicable part number. Confirm that you see both gaskets in the bag before opening it. First, we must remove the flow cell. To remove the flow cell, turn the instrument off from lab solutions. Once the instrument is shut down, turn the main power switch located by the power cable at the back of the detector off. Next, detach the connector cable from the face of the main body. Remove the inlet and outlet tubing from the column side from the union. Loosen the two cell mounting screws and pull the flow cell out. Remove the left and right set screws using the flathead screwdriver. Take your plastic tweezers and carefully remove the lenses and gaskets. The gasket sometimes adheres to the flat surface of the lens. When you remove the lens, use the plastic tweezers to poke at the flat side of the lens to see if the gasket is there. If the gasket is not there, remove it from the flow cell. The gasket is very hard to see. Confirm that you have removed them before installing new ones, otherwise the sealing ability of the flow cell may be compromised. Take a piece of wiping paper soaked in 2-propanol and wipe the inside of the flow cell where the lens and gasket sat. Remove the lenses from their packaging with the plastic tweezers and set them on a clean piece of wiping paper. Carefully remove one gasket from the packaging with the plastic tweezers and place it directly into the flow cell housing. These gaskets are hard to see and prone to static electricity when pulling them out of their packaging. When removing the gasket, make sure it is done over the bench top and close to the surface in case it is dropped. It is very hard to find if it falls on the floor. Rotate the gasket to push out any air bubbles, preventing it from contacting the surface of the flow cell. Pick up one of the lenses with the plastic tweezers and place it above the gasket, flat side down. Make sure that it is seated properly. Attach the set screw over the lens and tighten it. Do not over tighten the set screw. If over tightened, it could crack the lens and cause a leak over time. Repeat this step for the other side. Fill your syringe with 2-propanol. Attach the syringe with the needle that is equipped with the nut and ferrule to the inlet union of the flow cell. When using the inert flow cells, use the supplied coupling 1.6-0.8C peak. Push 2-propanol through the flow cell slowly until you see liquid emerging from the outlet tubing. If there are leaks, repeat the previous steps. Insert the flow cell into the detector. Hold the flow cell in place while you tighten the two cell mounting screws alternately. Make sure the main power is still off. Attach the inlet and outlet tubing to the appropriate unions on the flow cell and fix them to the detector with the coupling holder. Insert the connector into the instrument. Turn the detector on from the main power switch located at the back of the module. Open lab solutions and start up the system. Run your startup method and push out the 2-propanol from the flow cell and condition it for your analysis conditions. Thank you for watching this video on replacing lenses and gaskets in your detector flow cells. 
For more information on Shimazu LC instruments, please visit www.ssi.shimazu.com or scan the QR code on the screen.